In around the year 2000, the Institute of Medicine published a, really a seminal text called To Air is Human. And that brought to life what was going on in the hospitals where we had so many medical errors that caused a lot of morbidity and mortality. And Chalk took this very seriously from the very beginning. And now we have committed a lot of technology to decrease errors. The most meaningful thing we've done is eliminate serious harm by 95% in the last eight years. We have reduced the number of codes or resuscitations by 85%. Most importantly, it stayed low for the nine years since. There's a blame-free community, and we encourage the reporting of errors and even near errors because we want to learn from our mistakes. We want to learn from our near mistakes to make sure that it doesn't happen again. But transparency drives results because once you know what's happening, then things begin to change. At this hospital these days on our what we call communication boards, you actually can see patient results that are up to date and available for all to look at. And when you're in a hospital, that all includes your parents and or patients. That's a very powerful motivator for wanting to get better. Here at Chalk, we really strive to practice patient family-centered care. We do that in a variety of ways. Of course, the parent can provide feedback. And if you're willing to accept that, you're willing to say, hey, we're experts, but you know your child best, then you can go a long way towards really understanding the, the gist of the problem. We've instituted for the physicians peer review. So to have a you know, multidisciplinary peer review process is really informative for the physicians. Those of us that went to medical school some years ago, we did not learn about collaboration. Team approaches were not encouraged. And now we know that we need to teach team approach. We need to teach collaboration because that's how you're gonna improve communication. I'm excited about what we're doing, but I'm very focused on what else we need to do to continue to improve. Being a safe organization, if you consider yourself one, you're almost certainly wrong because it's a journey. You're never there. All we can do is try to have a, a, a society, a culture within the organization that reports things that could be better. It's willing to learn from itself. It is a culture that has justice inherently in it. And lastly, it's flexible at times of stress. If you can do those things, then you'll be more likely to be an informed culture. And an informed culture is as safe as we can be. That's how you make change. The patient safety movement has done a great job of promoting the, the zero concept. I think getting to zero is great, and that's where we want to be, and that's where we expect to be. So it's just a continual drive to make sure we stay there. And it requires every single individual, starting from our board directors, which they are amazingly supportive. And from the physicians, really all the way down to the individuals working in the kitchen and, and taking care of the room. Everybody has bought into their part of getting to zero. It's not one person, it's every single individual, and it also will include the parents and, and the patients. You know, I'm really proud of our organization and I'm uh, so pleased with the successes that we're having. It's, it's a journey and we've honestly been at this for decades. I'm positive that if all of us commit to that and we work well together within our ecosystem, we'll get there. I'm, I'm absolutely certain it can be done.